So I am wanting to do a long-ish video about telling the difference between original and bootleg figures so that way in case you're shopping for a friend or for yourself during any time of the year, um, you can tell the difference and you're not ending up in the same situation that I am. About a year ago during Christmas, a friend of mine bought me a Claire from Claymore figure, um, you know, supposedly from Mega House, but in truth it was a bootleg after doing some research, so um, here are some things that I noticed before I found out that she was bootleg um, that were giveaways. Um, the box is in terrible quality, it's in even more terrible quality than the figure itself is in. Um, the corners are very, very beat up. If you're buying something from the manufacturer, it won't be beat up. Um, very, very poor quality um, cardboard. It's all sunken in, like it's, you know, gotten tossed around. Um, the image quality on this is very fuzzy. Um, the original box will have sharp, sharp images. Um, the letters will be sharp. Um, it, it's not like she's getting sucked into the box. Um, and on the back, um, I don't really remember which side, but there's supposed to be a manufacturing sticker, kind of shiny. Um, this does not have a manufacturing sticker, and bootlegs will not have manufacturing stickers on their boxes. Um, all there is is a whole bunch of words I do not understand, so those are some things to look out for on the box itself. That and the fact that the plastic is getting, looks like it's getting sucked into a black hole, so keep an eye on those very things on the box itself. So here's the figure, um, I have currently got her standing on a pair of pieces of foam wood just to keep her standing upright. Um, she wobbles around really bad on the stand, the uh, original figure will not do that whatsoever. So yeah, it's pretty poor considered to the type of quality that the original provides. Now, I want to show you one of the things that I look for on the stand, starting with... Let me put her down real fast. Um, the lettering originally has a red tinge wiped over it. Um, I have it. It's obvious on the other side of the stand. Um, I have ended up painting it white myself because, I mean, it was just ugly to look at. Um, I will end up painting the whole stand later on different color, maybe give it this cool marble effect, who knows. Um, but that's what I look for on the stand is the red lettering. Um, that and the figure will not stand very well on the, on it. Um, on the original figures, they do stand very well. Um, they click right into it and are very stationary on the um, stand and will not wobble around whatsoever. Maybe a little bit if you shake it hard enough, but... Um, <clears throat> Now, some of the physical features I would look on bootlegs in general is obviously do your research, I mean if you're getting a different type of figures, do your research on what kind of differences um, that bootlegs and the originals will have because they obviously will change up, you know, very very small details to, you know, get away with it. But obviously make the whole thing look in general look like the real deal, because I mean, come on, this looks like the real deal. Um, <coughs> pardon me. So, one of the first things I look at that I actually took me a while to notice was her left hand. Um, on, if you look at a lot of the Claymore images, her left finger is pointed, her left index finger is pointed outwards as if she's brushing her cape away. Um, this current figure has a flat hand, you know, like, you know, she's just got it down at her side. Um, that is one feature. Another feature that is obvious, her head is, you know, despite the camera angle, is actually pointed downwards, so she's probably looking down over here, actually, instead of more straight ahead. Um, <laughs> the seam lines on it, on the top of the head, are very, very obvious. I mean, it's just, that seam line is just really ugly to look at. 
more obvious than the one on the original. Um, it's funny about the physical features. My pauldron comes off ridiculously easy. Um, her arm takes quite a bit of work to take off. It did come with, uh, Elena's arm, but that one doesn't stay on very well, and I just, I don't like to mess with it too much because it might break. Um, and I do like my figure, despite that it is bootleg. Um, the back cape, I've not tried taking that off. Um, it would, like I said, look, she's leaning really bad. Um, <laughs> but, uh, this back piece is actually supposed to slide off, um, on the original figure, but I don't know if this one does. It's supposed to. I have wiggled it a bit, so I'm pretty sure it would. Uh, but it'd probably break. Look, look at that lean. It's disgusting. You see that? That's how poor quality it is. Um, let me put some wedges under that. Anyway, um, so those are some physical features to look at. Um, next thing is paint quality. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start with paint. Um, <clears throat> okay. The most, um, some of the most obvious things on the bootleg is, on the bootleg, they will have black outlining, um, on the edges. They should have black outlining on the belt plate, but it tends to fade in and out like they were marking it with a thin sharpie. Like, it's really, really, really dark on the bottom, you know, a little fading right there. But, you know, it just it fades in and out of that black, and it's just, ugh, ugly. Um, the silver is not a true silver, it's like a muddied, muddied color. I seem to keep taking it on and off, I just should leave it on. But it's got that muddied colored silver, it's not real bright. The original has very bright colors. Um, the white is not a true white, it's very, you know, the whole figure looks dirty, like I should wash it or something. Um, the white is very, very I don't know, it's, it's kind of like a grayish, almost. Um, and, uh, one thing I've also noticed about her hair is on the original figure, you're supposed to have very blonde hair that's one color. It tends to be very kind of light at the top, and then it gets dark on the bottom. Um, that, that is, ew. It is just, I don't know what happened with her hair, it's like, she got bleached on the top or something. <laughs> but, um, and another thing is that is pretty much the dead giveaway to any bootleg figure is their eyes. Um, with this particular Claire figure, the original, um, a distinct feature on a Claymore themselves, on the Warrior, is that they have the most silver eyes. So, on the Mega House Claymore, they made, uh, their eyes look very crystal-like, and they are looking, uh, Claire herself is looking off to the left side, like her fingers pointed to the left side. Um, on the bootleg, her eyes are kind of, I, I want to say they're a very muddy crystal color. Um, it, it almost looks like a sticker that they put on her eye, and her eyes are looking forward. Um, I do have a better quality bootleg from the others that I've seen, but it's obviously not to the level of the Mega House that they make. Um, just don't, don't buy the bootleg whatsoever. I mean, you're gonna end up disappointed. Um, and the next thing is, other than the paint quality and the horrible stand and the way she wobbles and teeters and totters, um, <laughs> is... Her Claymore itself, generally, all in all, you you would think that, you know, that's a, that's good quality, you know, for a Claymore. I mean, it's pretty. Well, if you look close to it, there's black, and the black is not painted on, um, very straight. I mean, there's the bow right there. Um, it, it kind of brushed upwards right there. And, um, you know, the lines aren't straight, you know, there's another bow right there. And it goes up right there. Um, on the originals, they do not do that. You pay for the quality on every portion of this figure. Um, well, anyway, going back to this, uh, to the Claymore, is this, the, uh, handle is supposed to pop off the blade itself. 
I don't know why the original does that. I mean, I don't have an original. Maybe it's to help put it in the back piece. Um, but this does not pop off. It is a whole one piece that is, you know, I've tried popping it off, but I'm afraid if I tried too hard, it would probably break. And I don't want to break this. Um, I don't have trouble sliding it in the back. Um, it just, it, though it's very loose, the whole thing in, in general is very loose. Um, her, her sword doesn't really sit well in her hand. It just kind of, like, sit limp. You know, it's very, very, it kind of, like, just sits there. It's not like she's actually grabbing it. It's kind of, like, loose, loose hands. And Claire doesn't have loose hands. <laughs> loose hands, wow. Um, but generally, that's, that's the figure itself. I mean, it's, it's not bad for bootleg, but I'm not endorsing bootlegs. Um, comparatively to the original figure, it, um, it's poor. It's very poor. She doesn't stand properly on the stand. The colors are terrible. Her eyes look terrible. Um, the plastic, I, I don't know how strong the plastic is. I don't, I don't touch her very much. She sits on the very corner of my nightstand and doesn't get poked at very often. <laughs> poked at. Uh, well. Anyway, um, that's a figure. Um, yeah, lovely. Um, and I will just tell you generally what you should look after at other figures. So, all in all, the general things that you want to look for, um, in any kind of figure that you're buying is, um, obviously paint quality, um, the quality of the plastic, the quality of the box, if it has manufacturing stickers, the pictures are sharp or not, um, obviously look at their eyes to see how well their eyes are painted on, because it seems like no one can paint eyes properly, um, and, you know, maybe defects that the body of the figure will have, and obviously do your research, um, on the figures that you're buying, um, <clears throat> you know, because they will vary, just very, very small. Um, so do your research, and another thing that is a dead giveaway is if you're buying your figures off of eBay or let's say Amazon, I don't actually know about Amazon, um, but let's say you're wanting to buy a Mega House Claire on eBay. The originals will sell about for $200, um, they are very rare figures, um, hard to get a hold of, that's why the bootlegs are, you know, booming right now, especially with a Mega House Claire. Um, the bootlegs will generally sell between 30 to $70, so price is also, you know, it's pretty much your main red flag, as if it's selling under $200, um, it's probably a bootleg. Um, another thing to be aware of is people will have garage kits, and what garage kits are is, um, figures that you can put together yourselves and paint yourselves. I have not looked into garage kits themselves, um, personally to see if they're maybe bootlegged or maybe if they were original pieces, um, pulled apart. I honestly don't know, so don't, uh, don't push my buttons on that. Push my buttons. I don't know. Whatever, you'll get the point. But, um, price, paint, the figure, box, um, that goes well with any figure is the quality, 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 and price. Um, you obviously get what you pay for, and, um, sometimes if you order a bootleg, you won't get it at all, and you'll rip off your money, so be careful, um, what you're getting. Um, actually, and sometimes, um, if you go to, um, maybe a convention or something, they might actually accidentally be selling bootlegs and not be aware of it, so, do your research, obviously. Always do your research when wanting to buy something like this. Um, you always want in to uh, support original manufacturers that sell these things, and obviously not the Chinese companies that are putting these out. Um, you know, levels. So, I hope that was helpful. Um, I'm sorry I don't have any other figures to show you, or the original Claire, but, um, you know, it's... It's, it's, it's a game to play, and I hope I've helped you guys out, and I'll talk to you later. Alright, bye.